I've set up an instrument rack here that contains uh, one VST instrument, which is a VCV rack instance. And I have a macro that's controlling uh, a few different parameters in the, uh, in the instrument or in this VCV rack configuration. And the macros are tuned to do some pretty specific things. So I turn a filter up and as I turn a filter up, I turn a feedback up on an oscillator and I also turn a decay down on a built-in envelope uh, in this oscillator. And I've tuned these ranges to do some interesting things, so they're quite specific. But what we know about macros in instrument racks is that uh, they can only be mapped to parameters on devices that are in the rack. So for example, if I wanted to modulate something in this uh, phaser flanger using the macro, I'd have to put it in the rack in order for it to be available to mapping. And see, now that I've brought it into the rack, it's available and I could click a knob and map it as well. I actually kind of like that, that's not bad. But here's a situation where what I'd really like to do is be able to map this macro so that as I adjust these parameters up, I'm also adjusting something like a send knob. And this is supposedly impossible in life. A macro can only control devices that are in the rack. But here's an interesting solution to this problem. We can add any Max for Live device that does its own mapping. So for example, I'm gonna get the LFO device now and drop it in this track. And I'm gonna put it in the rack. We'll put it it doesn't really matter where it goes, we're gonna put it here. And what's interesting about devices like the LFO or the Shaper or, or really any number of devices that can send continuous signals is that if you make them not modulate, you get a steady state signal, which is controllable via this offset control. This is for devices that have this built in. If you then map the macro to the offset control, you have a generic modulation signal here, but this in turn can be mapped anywhere in live. So if I click its map button and map it to the send instead, we now have a macro control controlling a knob outside of the rack. It's doing this via this LFO as a proxy, which isn't doing any kind of LFO at all. It's sending a continuous signal, which is because its depth is set to zero, it's not modulating itself and its offset knob is controlling the actual state of the signal, which is then mapped to an external control. And we have all of the range options that we would normally have in Live's mapping browser here within the LFO itself. So if, for example, I don't want this control to go all the way up to 100%, I could instead bring the control down to say 85%, and then when the macro is all the way at the top, this send knob isn't all the way at the top. And if I turn it up to the top and adjust the range here within the LFO, we can see that we have, uh, we have a limited range now. And we could even do very strange things. Because we have additional mapping options, we could even do weird things like map one macro to another one via this kind of proxy, maybe with an inverted range, for example. Now, this macro isn't mapped to anything right now, so it's not doing anything interesting, but this is a kind of interesting proof of concept of how to use macro controls to map things that wouldn't otherwise be mappable in live.